Welcome to module three, video number four. In this part of the XC course, we're gonna be talking about identifying your target audience. So now that you have defined your specific niche, you are ready to identify who is your ideal target customer. So imagine that your audience is a specific person, one specific person, and this is gonna help you determine if your products or services will be relevant and interesting to that particular person. Since you're starting a brand new business and don't have any analytics, it's important to create a complete description of the person who you want to target. Creating an audience profile is usually overlooked, but it's vital to the success of your business that you complete a target market analysis. And the reason why you want to do this is so you could start identifying who is your target customer. And if you know who your target customer is, you could start selling to those people and start making money and growing your brand. But if you don't know who your target customer is, you will not be able to target them with your ads or with your services. So do not skip this part. So what should you include in your audience profile? So let's kind of go over that. This is the things that you have to ask yourself when you are figuring out who is your target audience. What is their name? Yes, give them a name. What is their name? What is their age? Um, where do they live? How much do they earn? What industry do they work in? What is important to them? Are they married? Are they single? What would they buy from your shop? What will set your shop apart? What makes your store different than anyone else's? What industry do they work in? How do they think? What are their hobbies? How can you best reach your target market? What challenges do they face? What pushes them to make purchasing decisions, right? And how do they get their information? Now, I'm going to do my actual um, target audience with you guys to kind of give you an idea on how you could do this for your own target audience. So for instance, my niche, as we talked about already in the beginning of this course, is helping Etsy sellers build a thriving business online. So if I had to describe my ideal customer, this is how my profile would look. What is their name? I'm gonna name them Jennifer. What is their age? They're 35 years old. Um, what is their location? I'm just going to target us for now. What is their income? I'm going to say anywhere from 1000 to 5000, but they want to increase their income to six figures. Do they work? I said they stay at home mom. Maybe some do work, but mostly stay at home. Um, what's important to them, right? Having a balanced life. Uh, work, play, and family time. So having a balanced life in general, but still making money and supporting their family. Um, are they single or married? Uh, Jennifer is married. Why would they buy from my shop, right? Like what makes me different? Um, I sell services that help them take their SXC business to the next level. So that's why they will buy from me. What sets my shop apart, my shop apart from other people that sell XC products to help other XC sellers. Um, I would say my work ethic sets my shop apart from other shops that help XC sellers. I do video critiques to help people and give valuable insights of things that need to be changed. And as a, as a bonus, I also help out people with social media, branding, and growing their online presence. So that's what makes me different. So this is kind of like what you want to do with yours. You know, if you are in the wedding industry, you can, you know, what is their name? You could just say Stephanie, let's say. What is their age? Okay, they're about to get married. So they're probably anywhere between, let's say, 25 to 45. Maybe that's your target age. What is their gender? They're females, right? Because they're going to get married and you're probably marketing to the bride. Um, where do they live? Maybe they live in the country you live. Maybe you want to target all U.S. Maybe you want to target um, all speaking English countries like U.S., um, Australia, Canada, etc. Um, how much do they earn? Maybe the type of um, items that you sell have a price point of 
25 to 50. So that's how you figure out how much they earn. And you kind of want to do that and do it all across, answer as many questions as you can. When you do that, that will give you an idea of who is your ideal customer. And it's going to help you when you create your listings. It's going to help you if you ever do any Etsy ads. It's going to help you if you ever do Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, Instagram, or any type of marketing. Because you're going to have an idea of, of who you kind of want to target at first. And then I want to emphasize that one of the most important elements of creating any business is developing an audience profile of your ideal customer. And it will require some work from your end and involve critical thinking, but it will get you started in the right track. If you want to build a personal brand, it's useless unless you target the right audience. Um, please do not overlook this section of the course. So keep in mind that once you have established your Etsy shop, usually about 30 days, you'll have your web and Google Analytics stats that's going to help you uncover more valuable data about your audience. So the data is going to help you determine which changes you will need to, to apply in order to keep crafting your ideal customer. So just keep that in mind. This is a start for your ideal customer and once you have more data then you keep crafting it and crafting it and crafting it it's not going to be perfect the first time around you might have to do it two three four times until you have the perfect um, ideal customer so the recap is identify who's your target customer site so start doing the audience profile create um take the list that i just created write it down on a piece of paper if you have to pause the video do that and start crafting who is your ideal customer and complete your audience profile. Do not skip this part. Start with something. Something is better than nothing. And then once you start and your Etsy store later on, you'll have enough data to kind of start crafting it and changing it and morphing it to your ideal customer. So I'll see you in the next video.